Hi, this is Jay from Encodian. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the file contents parameter within uh, Flow to exchange documents between Encodian Flow actions and other actions as well. Um, so what we're going to do to demonstrate this, we're going to create a new blank Flow. So I'm going to click Create from Blank. And from within there, I'm going to use a Flow button just to manually invoke the Flow for test purposes. Here we go. And I'm also going to add in the SharePoint trigger action. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually pull a file from SharePoint to show you how we can do that. And then I'm going to pass the um, file contents parameter that I obtained from the SharePoint action to Encodian actions to do some things like conversion, watermarking. And then I'm going to use the um, file contents parameter coming back from Encodian to create a document within SharePoint. So that's the demonstration. So let's do get file contents. There we go. And I'm just going to select a one of our demonstration sites there. And I'm going to choose a file as well into shared documents. And we'll go for the encoding a demo document. Now, just going to do a quick search for Encodium. Here we go. And I'm going to just do a conversion to PDF in the first instance. So nice and simple. Convert to PDF. OK, so there is a option here called file content and it says the content of the source file. So what this is asking for, as it's as it suggests, is the file contents. So if I click on there, and I'm just going to go to the right hand side, you can see here the get file content action, so one I've highlighted, which is this one here. If I click see more, you'll see inside it, it's got the file content, the content of the file. So what is this? This is a base64 encoded representation of the file, which is what is used to pass that file between the actions. So I'm simply going to select that, and that's all I really need to do. Um, the only other thing I will also need to do, actually, is to set the file name. So the way that the encoding convert to PDF action works is that, yes, we've got the file content, but we also need to know um, what type of file you're sending to us, because this particular action supports, uh, I think, 75 plus different file types. And without the file type, we just don't know what file type you're sending us. So I'm just going to put in here, this is a document, docx. And we'll just call this demo file content .pdf that we'll have back. Um, I'm not going to go into the advanced options for this one, but what I'm also going to do is I'm going to add another action just to show you how we can then pass this file between other actions. So if I go to uh, new step, again, we'll choose Encodium. And I'm going to choose uh, add a text watermark, a simple version. and Again, this time it's asking for file name, but I can pass the file name from the convert to PDF action, and I, that will keep the consistent file name. If you're not sure what that is, it's basically the value that I've popped in here is now being sent to here. Um, now, when we use the file content parameter, it's really important that we pick up the file content parameter coming from the convert to PDF action. If I go to get file content, you'll see I've got a file content parameter here, and that's coming from the get file content um, parameter. Now, this one is uh, obviously the document retrieved from SharePoint, and this one is that document converted into PDF format. If I pass the wrong one, then obviously I'm passing in effect the wrong document. So I'm going to choose file content, and I'm going to pass file content. And I probably should add some text in. So this is a demo. And I can leave, uh, I, we can make change some of the colours. We'll just make that a diagonal watermark for completeness. So, and the next, the last step we'll quickly do is to actually use the file that's returned from the add text watermark action, which is a PDF file with the watermark added to it, and we'll just upload that to SharePoint. So I will go to here, uh, I'm going to select SharePoint again, and this time we're going to search for the create file action. Ooh, would help if I typed in the right place. Right, create file. And site address, I'm going to select a demonstration site. I'm going to choose a folder path in the aptly named destination documents folder, library even, 
and operation test results will be fine. Um, in file name, I'm going to put the, again, the file name of the document coming from the add text watermark action. And I'm going to choose the file content parameter, parameter coming from the add text watermark. So let's go for uh, file content there. So this point, let's just open these up and we'll step through it again just before we test this. So we're retrieving the file from SharePoint and that's given us a file content parameter there. We've passed that into the file content field on the convert to PDF action. We've specified importantly the file extension on the file name. So that tells the Encodian uh, convert to PDF action that this is a docx file. Um, we've then passed the resulting PDF document to the add text watermark. So from convert to PDF, we've passed that file content into the file content. And finally, let's close these down. We've used the create uh, file SharePoint action to create a file with the SharePoint. And again, we're passing in the file name and file content parameters coming from the add text watermark action. Okay, so all being well, let's save that. And I'll just give that a test. I've not run it yet, so I'll have to form the trigger action myself. So let's just run that. So that looks like it's running fine. So we've retrieved the document from SharePoint, we've converted it to PDF, we've added a watermark, and then we've uploaded that resulting PDF document to SharePoint. So let's just jump over to SharePoint and have a quick look. And there is our file, demo file content.pdf. And there is our file with watermark embedded within it. Okay, so we can see that. So I guess the, um, the key principles here are just making sure that you're passing the right file content parameter between the actions. If you get mixed up, you'll be passing the wrong version of a document. And also just to make sure that you're always putting on the file extension on file name fields, because that will that will make sure that those um, documents are being correctly processed. So hopefully that helps. If you do need any further assistance, you can email us at support at encoding.com or you can visit our support portal at support.encoding.com.